Let's look at another example. 102 divided by 6. 102 is the dividend. Let me get this out here. 102 now is the dividend. 6. Sorry. 102 is the dividend. And uh, 6 is the divisor. So let's draw the division bracket. That means that we are going to put 102 inside the bracket because it is the dividend and then the divisor outside the bracket. We are not going to begin with 102 as a whole. We are not going to say 6 into 102. That would be a very big uh, value. And it is going to be difficult to bring out the result as quickly as possible. So what we are going to do is we are going to begin small. We are going to start small. We begin with 1. 6 into 1. 1 cannot divide 6. 1 is smaller than 6. That means 6 cannot go into 1. So we move one step ahead. There's a 0 in front of 1. Putting them together, we have a 10. So, 6 goes into 10 how many times? This is where we use our multiplication. 6 multiplied by what? Equals to 10. Let's check this out. Six multiplied by one gives six. Six multiplied by two gives twelve. So we are trying to get six into ten. But the value is not here. That means the value has to be between 1 and 2. We cannot say 2 because 12 is bigger than 10. So we are going to pick 1. This goes into 10 1 times. There is a remainder of 4 here. So we we'll put 1 here. So it's going to be... Let me... Oops. Sorry. Let me now draw this here. 102 divide by 6 6 into 10 one time 1 multiplied by 6 gives 6 so we're going to subtract leave these two out for now let's work on this because uh, the 10 was used to divide by 6 we do not include the 2 0 subtract 6 cannot. We are going to borrow 1 to the 0 to give us 10. 10 subtract 6 gives us 4. This is going to be 0 because 1 has been taken over to this side. Now this 2 comes down. All along it has been untouched. Now it comes down and meet the 4 to give 42. So we are going to repeat the whole process again. I'm going to repeat the whole process. Six into forty two. Six multiplied by what gives forty two? Let's check that out again. I'm going to draw something big here. Six multiplied by one equals to six. 6 multiplied by 2 
equals to 12. 6 multiplied by 3 equals to 18. 6 multiplied by 4 gives 24. 6 multiplied by 5 gives 30. 6 by 6 is 36. 6 by 7 42. Aha! There we have it. The answer is going to be 7. 6 multiplied by 7 gives 42. So we now get back to our division and put a 7 here. So multiply. Six, 7 multiplied by 6 gives 42. Now we subtract. 0. 0. So there you have it. Our quotient is 17. Our answer is 17. So the, the process is uh, repeated. It's simple and is carried out repeatedly. For example, if you take 6 into 10, you get 1. Then you multiply 1 by 6. Drop it here, below the 10. Subtract, you get a 4. Then you repeat the process again. 6 into 42, 7. 7 multiplied by 42. You keep doing that until you get a remainder of 0. Or until you get a remainder that is less than 6. That is when you stop dividing. Now that means our dividend so that means our dividend is uh, 102 the divisor is 6 and the quotient is 17 that is our final answer 17 17 is the final answer in summary the long division oops In summary, the long division method requires you to put the dividend inside the bracket. You put the dividend inside the division bracket. And the divisor outside the bracket. Just like here, 102 is the dividend, it goes inside the division bracket. 6 is the divisor, it stays outside the bracket. Then the next thing you're gonna do is divide the dividend by the divisor you divide 102 by 6 what do you get and uh, but the division the process 
doesn't take 102 as a whole you start small start with one six cannot go into one then you move one step ahead into ten six into ten in this case the ten divides six not the 102 thirdly put the result on the overbar this is the quotient so like we divide it, 6 into 10 is 1 goes 1 time 1 mode so we put 1 here on the overbar one is part of the quotient. Then you multiply you multiply the quotient by the divisor. The quotient is 1, the divisor is 6. 1 multiplied by 6, 4, 6. Now you subtract. Oops. Caps lock issues. You subtract the answer in four above from the dividend. Repeat the process. You repeat steps 1 to 5 until you have a remainder of 0 or a remainder less than the divisor. That's it. In subsequent videos, we are going to look at more complex examples. Thanks.